How's it going, everybody? C Rad TV back here in another video. So, of course, another week of NFL football upon us, which means it's now time for the NFL Week 18 picks. We have reached it. The final week of the NFL regular season. The final week. The NFL season has quickly gone very, fa very fast, you know. Some pretty good football games, though. Some pretty mediocre games. A bunch of ref ball. But, yeah. A lot, to a lot happened, but yeah, the NFL season is now at the, we're at the end, the final week of the season, as we will find out who will be in the playoffs starting next week, and who will be sent to Elimination Station and sent on the couch throughout January. But yeah, of course, I'm with my picks last week. I went 11-5 and five with my picks last week. Should have been 12-4, and four, but there were some events on Saturday night that happened that got me wrong, that got me a game prediction wrong. So yeah, my record this year now goes to 163 and 93. Should be 164 and 92. And of course, last week, Cleveland, Kansas City, and the Los Angeles Rams all clinched playoff spots. While the Cincinnati Bengals, Las Vegas Raiders, Denver Broncos, and Chicago Bears have all been officially eliminated from playoff contention. So yeah. And of course, um, there's three spots in the AFC still up for grabs. And the NFC, there's two spots up for grabs. So, of course, uh, for this week, we're going to do the schedule a little different, though. The games of least importance, we're going to predict first. And then the games of most importance, we're going to predict last. So, anyway, let's go ahead and let's jump right into it. So, the first game we got of least importance. We have the Cleveland Browns, Cincinnati Bengals playing in Cincinnati. Cleveland's more than likely resting their starters for this game. Cincinnati's probably going to play hard for bragging rights. Like, this game effectively means nothing. Cleveland's guaranteed a spot. Like, they could fall down a spot, depending on what happens between with Miami late Miami this week. But honestly, I feel like Cleveland's going to rest their starters. This game means nothing to Cleveland. So I'm going to say Cincinnati wins this one. I got the Bengals 22-21. to Give me Cincinnati by one in this one. And, of course, for our next game, it can't be the end of a season without some tank bowling. So, of course, our first tank bowl this week sees the New York Jets and the New England Patriots playing in New England. So, of course, um, the Patriots, they're put, possibly put, this could be potentially Bill Belichick's last game as a Patriots head coach, as he's been rumored to be parting ways at the end of the season. While for the, but, while for the Jets, well, Robert Sowell is expected to be back. He's getting a pass because of Rodgers going down. But, yeah. Honestly, I'm not surprised the Jets were disappointments this year. But yeah, New England really has fallen off. To be honest, so I think a lot of people are probably going to pick the Jets in this game. But I think differently. I think the Patriots win this game. I think the I think Bill Belichick's going to fuck the Patriots over and fuck up their draft position entering the last week after in Week 18. I think the Patriots win this game 23-20 because they still own the Jets. I think the Patriots buy three, and I think Belichick gives Robert Kraft the middle finger on the way out the door and fucks the Pats over. Potentially costing them either Caleb Williams or Drake May. But yeah, give me the Pats by three in this one. And of course, it's also time for another Tank Bowl this week. So this Tank Bowl sees the eliminated Denver Broncos against the Las Vegas Raiders. This game really means nothing. It's between two teams that are officially eliminated from playoff contention. Sean Payne, there's no chance he gets fired this season. While the Raiders, for Raiders, Antonio, Antonio Pierce could be auditioning for a head coaching job if he does well enough. I got the Raiders winning this one because Antonio Pierce, he might be, play, he might be coaching for a job next year. So I got the Raiders winning this one over the Broncos 22 to 20. And I have the Raiders winning by two in this one. And I think Russell Wilson's last game in a with the Broncos organization will be an L since Russell Wilson is probably going to be cut in the offseason. Honestly, I'm surprised they're not trading him. That's kind of sad. Next game. Kansas City Chiefs, Los Angeles Chargers in Los Angeles. 
Um, this game has no meaning for the Chiefs because the Chiefs are guaranteed the three seed no matter what. They can't fall any lower or move up any higher. All the Chargers are eliminated, so the Chiefs are more likely going to rest Mahomes than a lot of their starters in this game. Like, this game, only bragging rights is on the line. Doesn't really mean a whole lot. So for this one, I'm going to take the Kansas, I'm going to take the Chargers in this one in an upset. I got the Chargers 22 to 20. Give me the Chargers by two over the Chiefs in a game that literally means nothing. But yeah, to everybody else this weekend, thank you all for playing. Now we get to the games that mean the most this weekend. So starting off, we have the NFC East division up for grabs. This one's pretty straightforward. For Dallas, win and you clinch. Not only do you clinch, you also get the number two seed over Detroit. Well, for Philadelphia, they would need a win and a Cowboys loss to get the NFC East and the number two seed over Detroit. So, of course, um, the, the Philadelphia Eagles, they play host to the New York Giants, while the Dallas Cowboys play hope, play in Washington against the Commanders. Wait, did I say Eagles play host to the Giants? No, the Giants play host to the Eagles. My bad. But yeah, Philadelphia and New York against the Giants, Dallas and Washington against the Commanders. For the Commanders, it's pro it's more than likely Ron Rivera's last game as Washington head coach because there's a lot of rumors that Rivera is going to be fired at the end of the season. So yeah, um, yeah, I think that. See, I got the Eagles beating the Giants in this one. The Giants are just a mess. I think even though the Eagles have been suffering a Steelers 2020 like collapse, I think the Eagles still beat the Giants. I got the Eagles winning 20 to 19, Philly by one. But I have Dallas being a pretty bad Washington team. I got the Cowboys winning 24-20. I got Dallas winning by four. And I think the Dallas Cowboys take the NFC East over the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, to the next division is the NFC South. Now, for Tampa Bay, it's pretty straightforward. Win and you clinch the NFC South. But if the, e but if the Buccaneers lose, then Atlanta versus New Orleans is for the NFC South title. As the Saints and Falcons, they can clinch what they can clinch the division with a win and a loss and a Tampa Bay loss. And note Atlanta and New Orleans play against each other this week. So yeah. While the, so yeah, Tampa Bay plays in Carolina against the Panthers. Atlanta play is in New Orleans to play as the Saints play host. So yeah, a big game on the line as the Buccaneers, their only way in the playoffs is winning the South. While the Falcons, their only way in is winning the South. While the the Saints, though, they can still make it in on wild card, worst case scenario. But we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But yeah, for this game, Tampa Bay's playing Carolina. I Carolina's complete ass. And with Carolina being complete ass, they also gave the Chicago Bears the first overall pick in the draft this year. So yeah, Chicago, step forth to pick up your free Caleb Williams or Marvin Harrison Jr. Or maybe you'll be a bunch of fucking idiots and trade down again. I don't know, you weren't fucking idiots last year, did Because... That ended up being probably the big one of the biggest fleece jobs in NFL's recent memory. But yeah, that trade for Carolina might go down as one of the worst trades in Panthers history. The pick they traded to get Bryce Young ends up being the first overall pick. It could potentially be either Caleb Williams or Marvin Harrison Jr. Big oof. Yeah, I got Tampa Bay being the Bucks in this one. Uh, Carolina this one. Give me Tampa Bay over Carolina 22-19. I got Tampa Bay by three. And then I have it, and then in terms of Falcons and Saints, I got the Saints being the Falcons because Taylor Heineke is ass and Desmond Ritter's no better. As Atlanta's more likely going to be looking at a quarterback in this draft. I got New Orleans being Atlanta 22-21. Give me the Saints by one in this one. But even though, even though I think that Tampa Bay will clinch the NFC South and I think they'll make the playoffs again with Baker Mayfield, I don't think the Saints aren't quite out of it yet because... Now we head over to the NFC wildcard pitcher, and it's a pretty complex for, complex pitcher for this. So for Green Bay, it's pretty straightforward. Win, and you're in the playoffs. Well, for the Seahawks, it's literally the same situation they were in a year ago, where they need a win and a Packers loss to make the playoffs. For the Saints, the Saints, they can get in with a win and losses from Green Bay and Seattle. And for Minnesota, it's a bit complex. For Minnesota, they need a win plus a Green Bay loss plus a Seattle loss plus a loss from either the Saints or the Buccaneers to make it to the postseason. So we already went over Atlanta and New Orleans. Now to the three other games of importance. 
So we have Minnesota. They are in Detroit to take on a very pissed off Lions team over the events of what happened last Saturday. While the Chicago Bears, they're in Green Bay to face the Packers. And then the Seattle Seahawks are in Arizona to face the, C the Cardinals. I mean, with the pa Bears and Packers, it would be funny as hell if the Bears ended the Packers season just like the Lions did in Lambeau a year ago. But, yeah, Minnesota, Detroit. Yeah, I got Detroit winning this game because Detroit's not resting their starters. Because Detroit still has a shot to be the number two seed. So, yeah, with Detroit playing their starters this week, it means Detroit's playing the end Minnesota season. So, yeah, I think Detroit wins against Minnesota. I got the Lions winning 22-19. to So, give me Detroit by three in this one. So, I think Minnesota will be eliminated. Well, in terms of the other games, I got Seattle being Arizona 25-20. to Cardinals are just a mess. I think the Seahawks will put themselves in a position to be in the playoffs. I'll give Seattle by five over Arizona. But I think, unlike last year, I do not think Seattle will get the outside help they need. I think Green Bay beats the Bears at home 18-17. Give me Green Bay by one. And I think Green Bay will clinch the seventh and final playoff spot in the NFC wildcard pitcher. And I think Green Bay could make move up to the sixth seed because I forgot to mention there was also the Rams and the 49ers this week in San Francisco. Both teams are locked in, and both teams are more likely wrestling their starters. It's already been confirmed that Stafford is out for the Rams. Carson Wentz is in. This game literally means nothing to either team. It's just bragging rights on the line. And I think it really depends. Do I trust Carson Wentz or do I trust... Um, um, Sam Darnold plus Christian McCaffrey is out for the 49ers, so that's a tough one there. I don't know. I think the 49ers offense is a lot different without Christian McCaffrey. I think that's going to be a big blow to that 49ers offense. I think the Ra I'm going to take a gamble here. I think the Rams pull it off in San Francisco. I'm going to take the Rams to win 23 to 21, and I have the Rams winning by two, and I think the Rams will be the sixth seed, and Green Bay will be the seventh seed. So in a wild card round, I think it'll be New Orleans. I think it'll be Tampa Bay versus Philly. I think it'll be Detroit versus the LA Rams. I think that's the matchup the NFL wants in the wild card round. And I think Green Bay will play in Dallas next week. So yeah, that's why I think the NFC wild card round will be next next week. Now we turn it over to the AFC. So for the AFC South, it's pretty straightforward. For Jacksonville, win and you and win and you clinch the AFC South. But if Jacksonville loses, then the game between Houston and Indianapolis, which is already a win or go home game, which we'll talk about in the wild card picture in a few seconds. But um, but that game could then be for the AFC South if Jacksonville were to lose. And quick note, Houston and Indy play against each other this week. But we'll talk about that game in the AFC wild card picture. Because Jacksonville, they play in Tennessee to take on the Titans. I think Trevor Lawrence is supposed to be back for this game. Tennessee, though, it may or may not be Mike Vrabel's last game as the Titans head coach. It's very tough to say if Vrabel gets fired. I've heard some rumors that said he's going to be fired, some that said he's safe. I think he's a time-will-tell type deal. So, yeah, Vrabel could be coaching for his job this Sunday. It wouldn't be surprising if he got fired because the Titans are going absolutely nowhere and the Titans need to blow it up and rebuild. I don't know if Vrabel is the guy for the rebuild, though. But I'm going to take the Jaguars in this one over Tennessee. I got Jacksonville winning 22-19. And whether Frabel has outstayed his welcome or not is yet to be seen. But yeah, I got Jacksonville winning. And I think Jacksonville will clinch the AFC South again. I mean, at the start of the year, I said Jacksonville would win the AFC South. And I said it was their division to lose. I'm going to stick with my prediction I made back in August. And I'm going to say Jacksonville will be the AFC South champions again. And I didn't talk about the Houston-Indianapolis game because we now split to the AFC wildcard picture. And for the AFC wildcard, well, for Houston-Indy, they both play each other, and it's a pretty straightforward game. Um, the, if the winner goes to the playoffs, loser goes home. But if they tie, then they both could be in the playoffs, depending on what happens. Because for everybody else, even if Jacksonville were to lose... And not quench the AFC South. Jacksonville could still make it into the playoffs. As for Jacksonville, they would need Pittsburgh to lose. They would need Denver to lose. And they would need the Houston-Indianapolis game to not end in a tie. While for Buffalo, 
They will need either a loss from Jacksonville or a loss from Pittsburgh to clinch a spot automatically. Well, for Pittsburgh, it's a bit complex. Well, for Pittsburgh, there are two different scenarios they can use. Pittsburgh can get in with a win plus a loss from either Jacksonville or Buffalo. They can also get in if Jacksonville loses plus Denver wins against Las Vegas. And they also can get in as long as Houston and Indianapolis doesn't end in a tie. So, of course, Pittsburgh, they'll be playing in Baltimore against the Ravens. Houston and Indianapolis play against each other on Saturday Night Football. Who else we got here? And, of course, some um, Buffalo... They're playing on Sunday Night Football against the Miami Dolphins. And that my and that game against Miami, it's pretty AFC East. So if Miami loses, they're in no matter what. But if Buffalo loses this winner take all game Sunday night, Buffalo could be out of the playoffs. That's fu it's fucking crazy how inconsistent the Bills have been. And yet the Bills could still end up with the number two seed. That's fucking nuts. But yeah, that just shows how much chaos there's been in football this year. So yeah, in terms of the winner take all game, winner go home game between Houston and Indianapolis, I think Houston pulls it off in Indy. I have the Houston Texans being the Colts in Indy. I got Houston winning twenty six nineteen because CJ Stroud's back and he's continuing to be the best rookie QB the NFL has seen in God knows how long. I got Houston winning by seven, and I think the Houston Texans will make the playoffs. I think Houston goes back to the postseason. So I have Houston in, which means I have Indianapolis out. Um, in terms of Pittsburgh, Baltimore. Well, Baltimore, they're, they're guaranteed the one seed. So I think Baltimore's going to rest a good chunk of their starters. So it's a game for Baltimore that really doesn't matter anyway, unless they want to play to end Pittsburgh's season. But I think the Steelers will win the game in Baltimore. I have the Steelers winning 20-19. to Plus, the Steelers have had Baltimore's number for God knows how long. So I got Pittsburgh by one. And then in terms of the other playoff spots... Um, the Sunday night game between Buffalo and Miami. Uh, Miami's coming off game blown out by Baltimore last week. Plus, earlier in the year, Buffalo blew them out earlier in the year in Buffalo. And usually, Tua, Tua's had issues where Tua has not performed well when it has mattered the most. It was evident last week. It was evident a couple years ago. Like, Tua's had issues performing when it's mattered. And I think it may come... I think that comes back to bite him again. I think the Bills play spoiler in Miami. I think the Bills will win... On the road in Miami, 24 to 21. I got the Bills winning by three. And I have the Bills clinching the AFC East, which means I think the Bills get in. And I think Houston gets the seventh and final playoff spot. So I think Miami will end up becoming a wild card team after having the AFC East lead for nearly all season, only for the Bills to steal it at the 11th hour. So yeah, I think Buffalo will go on the road and be the number two seed. And then if Miami becomes a wild card, I think that jumbles up the wild card round. As I think Miami might jump ahead of um, Cleveland for that first wild card. So that would mean Miami will probably place Jacksonville in the wild card round. And I believe that would mean Cleveland would end up facing Kansas City in the first round. But yeah, see, I think Buffalo wins the FC East and gets in. And I think Houston gets the last spot in. So I think uh, Pittsburgh and Indianapolis will be sent home. But yeah, those are my predictions for Week 18. Who will make the playoffs? Who will get set to Elimination Station? Tune in this Sunday to find out. I'm out. See you all later.